What's up, guys? Okay, a few things I want to discuss. A lot of people have been asking me. They said I'm a beginning rapper. I want to know, you know, you know, how do you come up with rapping? The best way to get to flow a little bit better, and I've learned growing up, was multitasking. If you can hit a beat, even if it's a basic boom, tap, tap, boom, tap. Even if you could do that and still talk. See, like I'm talking to you, and I'm still hitting the beat. So my mind is doing double thinking. Then you know you can pick it up. So now I can still talk to you and hit that beat. And then once you get yourself talking and still be able to hit the beat at the same rhythm, try to actually rap with it. So if I would say, yeah, I'm standing here with the camera in front of me. Home tricks, yeah, they tried to just front of me. I seen so many, but there was only one of me. So then you rapping and you still hitting the same beat. So your mind is thinking. Talking to the camera, I'm hitting them, so I'm doing three things. I'm trying to concentrate on talking to you all, still hit the same beat, and still think of a rap. That's called multitasking with your raps. So then, think about it like this. Imagine not having to hit that beat or concentrate on you guys. So then all I have to do is rap. So then in your mind, it's like, whoa, I have so much extra space to think about what I want to say. And one of the best things you can do is think about your second line. Don't think about what your first line is when you're rapping. You want to think about your second line. So if I know my second line is going to be fitted caps, my first line is going to be like, yeah, they storm coming with the city rap. I got this fly ass purple and white fitted cap. See, I thought about my second line. So that means I put my first line there and then my punchline came after it. So they're like, wow, he made Fitted Cap and City Raps rap together. It's, it's a lot easier that way. And I think that's where a lot of people, especially when freestyling, makes a mistake. And I think every rapper should practice freestyling because it makes you a better writer. When we were young, rapping back in Baltimore, um, in Cyphers, real Cyphers, um, on the streets, you know, we, we would, people like Common would sometimes come up. I remember one time we went to a club and he was performing and we jumped in a Cypher with him and the infamous Mad Skills and I actually got a chance to jump in Cyphers with some of those guys. They probably don't remember, but I do, you know, because it was big for me. They were my idols. One of the things we did was the point game and if you point at certain things, so let's say up here I got this box of uh, 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 Lean Cuisine, you know what I'm saying? If you got this box of lean cuisine, um, you, you rap about certain things. So we would have another person, you know, physically point at things. And you had to rap about it. So we're like, yeah, I'm standing here with my lean cuisine from Stouffer's. Never been in limos because I never had chauffeurs. This has got this bowl, got too much soul. Don't care because these glasses is on my... And then you just start rapping about certain things that's in the room. So once they point, your mind has to think, you know, really fast to get to these certain items. And then it makes you a better freestyle. So then when you're sitting down to write, it comes so much faster because your punchlines start coming a little bit quicker. And everybody doesn't use punchlines or metaphors or, you know, things like that. But that's cool. You know, it, whatever your style is, I think the root of it is to be able to freestyle because you don't want to be called out one time, especially as an MC, and not be able to actual actually freestyle. As for the equipment that I use, a lot of people have been asking about my equipment. I have the BX8s, which is which are here. I have the MRDO BX8. I have two of them. They're beautiful um, studio monitors. Studio monitors and speakers are not the same. Please do not go and get a pair of speakers and try to mix your music. I use the Mbox, which is here, because you need an Mbox and that actually to work your Pro Tools, which is there. Um, I also have for microphone. I have this here, which is my baby right here. It's a Sterling Audio microphone, guys, and it's shit. This shit rocks, man. That thing ha packs a good punch. For if you're shooting a video, I think one of the most important things about shooting your video, guys, is you have to have good lighting. I have two soft boxes. One, two, where I keep the lighting in the room, um, really lit. That's my green screen over there for for work or whatever. But that's basically what I'm working with when I'm shooting a video. Of course, I have a Mac. Core 2 Duo, which is, means it has two processors and it's running at 3.06. That's the part, the speed. Um, the memory is 8 gigs, um, and that's pretty much it for my for my Mac. I run straight off my laptop to do a lot of my editing um, for my videos. Let me swap out. I'm using whew, shoot over here. I'm sorry, guys. For my video, I am using Final Cut Pro. Time for another challenge, yo. I found myself lately, first of all, if you missed my last video. So that's what I'm shooting most of my material in. If I'm out on the roads and stuff, guys, I do use the Sennheisers. You can get these. These are wireless microphones. They are the dopest um, that you can get. They take AA batteries. 
you link them up to you and you got yourself wireless microphones. So you learned a little bit about rapping, you learned some of the equipment that you can get to make some nice quality videos because the thing about YouTube, I always tell everybody um, who are just getting started on YouTube, they ask me about you know how you know how you get started on YouTube and all this other type of stuff. But I always tell people one of the most important things about YouTube is um if especially as a musician, if people wanted to hear you sing, they would turn on the radio. But they come to YouTube to see videos. That's why you see me doing multi-screens and I keep the, the fitted caps as fresh as possible and I um, try to keep it colorful because people want to be entertained through your video. So every time, I don't care if you're a vlogger, I don't care if you do comedy, I don't care what it is, whatever it is that you do, make sure that your video is up to par. You know, get an HD cam, the type of camera that I'm using, the one that you're looking at right now, the Lumix GH1, which is an amazing camera, shoots great HD um, video. If your lighting's not good and if your camera sucks, people probably won't look at your video. There's been times where people will send me to their channel and no offense, I can't look at it. But if the video quality is good, I at least give it a chance. Now, imagine if your video quality is good and you're good at what you do, making people laugh, um, vlogging, doing the news, doing comedy, doing music, playing an instrument, whatever it is that you do. Imagine if you had them both together, then people are going to subscribe. Sometimes, if you want to be serious about YouTube, you're just going to have to invest in um, some better equipment. And I know it's going to, it may cost you if you have to rent it for a while and things, but sometimes you just have to invest. A lot of young folks, they're like, I don't even have this type of money, but you know, I know for a fact that you know, some kids are getting shoes that cost like a hundred dollars and things, you know. And imagine you get four pairs of shoes, you know, you got yourself, my lighting was only a hundred and some change. You got your lighting right there, you know, just sacrifice them shoes on your feet. You never see my feet. You only see me from here up. I mean, I can get shoes, but I'm just saying like, make your sacrifices, work on your raps, work on your content, y'all. I'm going to stop talking. Let me swap out fitness. I know y'all tired of looking at my ass. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask questions, and I'll I may come around to answer it if I find it interesting. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.